we were talking about uh, Newman as a tool which is provided by Postman for running the collections, right, from your command line. Now, let's go ahead and see how you can set this up on any of your um, machines. So it can be a Windows machine or a Mac machine or a Linux machine. It doesn't really matter because you'll be running everything from the command line, right? So go ahead and launch a command prompt, okay? And here, okay, so before that, uh, Newman is available or you can set it up with the help of the NPM. So which is nothing but the package manager for Node.js, right? So you need to have Node.js installed on your system before you can set up Newman. So to do that, uh, you can check whether Node.js is already installed, right? You can check um, NPM version. So that will give you uh, the right version of NPM present on your machine. Similarly, you can um, test for Node, right? So you can do Node version and it, okay, so Node V. So this is uh, the Node.js version, which is present in my machine, right? Now, say for example, uh, it says that Node.js is not present on your machine, right? So what you can do, you can go to this uh, website, the official website for Node.js and go to the download section. You will find um, the setup for all your all the different operating systems, right? So for Windows, do you have 32 bit and the 64 bit? So go ahead and download this and install it on your machine. So steps are pretty simple. You just need to um, double click on the setup and it will start installing. Similarly for Mac OS and Linux, uh, you can download the packages and uh, install it on your machines before you can go for Newman, right? Now once uh, Node.js is set up on your machine, what you can do is you can actually run a npm command to install newman on your machine right so now uh, what's the command right so the command to the command to write uh, or install newman is so you can use npm install right and g is for uh, globally installing it on your machine, right? So it will be globally available. I strongly recommend this or else you might face issues while you are running it from somewhere else, right? So npm install g and g then type newman, right? So this is the command to, to install newman using the npm or node package manager in your machine, right? So once you do that, it will be installed on your machine, okay? So saying that, let's now, um, although I have already installed it, I can still go ahead and install this, right? It, so once you type this, it will start uh, unpacking or uh, running this installation from the Node.js package manager, right? It will download it and in, it will install it on your machine. And once it is done, we can also we can also verify it using the uh, we can also verify it using the version which is installed on your machine right so similar to the command we checked for npm and node you can type newman dash v so it will give you the version so it's going to take some time uh, i would just pause this video for a few seconds and then we'll see by we'll see once this is completed Okay, so this is now completed. As you can see, it is showing that it has installed the Newman version 5.1.2. If you want to still verify whether it's installed correctly or not, you can type Newman dash V and it will show you that version which is installed on your machine, right? So once this is done, um, now we can run our collections from Newman, right? So we'll be looking at that in the next section, but this is how you can set up Newman. It's pretty simple. Uh, just in install Node.js Node on your machine and then um, with the help of NPM, you can install Newman.